Welcome back to Advocation X, all you beautiful thinking people, you. It is now time for a true talk. Remember, everything on this channel is based on opinion, which is derived from the facts as we have unearthed them for you. Be prepared, folks, to hear conjecture, opinion, passion, and straight talk. Today, we're discussing Peter Rawlinson and Lucid Motors, formerly CCIV, SPAC, Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Before we begin, hit that like button, subscribe, become a member, crush that bell. Don't miss anything going forward. This is your channel. We answer your questions. We cover your requests. Let's dive deep right now. In recent interviews, Peter Rawlinson, the CEO of Lucid Motors now, formerly CCIV, has indicated that he had some aspirations for a whole lot of vehicles being produced. Now, he since tempered that quite some, which is great. They do say still that they have over 10,000 reservations, qualified reservations, with a lot of money put down. Will this pan out? We shall see. What do you think? Disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, at least not yours. But I am my own. Why? Because I do my research. Do your DD, your due diligence. Make sure you are investing in things that you understand or that you believe in. This will serve you quite well. So, question for all you beautiful thinking people here. What do you feel going forward for Lucid Motors? What do you think the evaluation should be, could be, and will end up being? Let me know in the comments. Now, I'd also like to ask you, where do you think this company goes? Will they be able to produce all these cars? Will they actually ramp up? Or is it going to be like Elon Musk says, prototypes are easy. Production hell is hard. Where do you think Lucid Motors ends up in that scenario? Are they going to be in production hell? or prototyping all the way to the bank? Let me know in the comments. There are those of us who feel that Lucid Motors and Peter Rawlinson are gonna end up exactly like Nikola Motors and Trevor Milton. What do you think about that? Is there a little more substance to this company? Or are the Saudis just a substitute for GM? Now, in my thoughts, and oh, full disclosure, I actually am slightly invested in Lucid Motors. I bought CCIV some time back, waiting for the merger. And of course, it was a lackluster performance all the way along, and a lackluster performance after the merger. So needless to say, in my own opinion, I don't have a whole lot of confidence. And in everybody that I've listened to who actually has done the DD. It's not looking fantastic. There is a chance when they open up the shares and they start to raise money, diluting every share that I now own and every one of you own, there's a chance that they will have enough operating capital to perhaps start production. Now, whether or not they achieve their goals, that's another thing for another day. However, we are looking for success, of course, because like Elon, we are all looking forward to accelerating the advent of re sustainable, renewable technologies that will help protect our world, our wildlife, and our forests. Let's go. Ooh, I almost called him Trevor Milton. <laughs> Let's go, Peter Rawlinson. Let's see if you can make this happen and make these shares worth the wait. And let me tell you something, folks. I'm going to try for you beautiful thinking people of Advocation X to not always be so negative. I'm going to do my best to always put a positive spin on some of these things. So here's my positive spin on Peter Rawlinson. Peter, my hat's off to you. Props, Mr. Man. You have actually given accolades and props to the right man, to Elon Musk, 
and Tesla, even though your departure may have been under eh, questionable circumstances, you stand tall in giving praise to the man who deserves it and the company who's personified it. So for that, Peter Rawlinson, I give you props. And I hope you will continue to follow in his footsteps and try your best if all else fails. License Tesla's technology. License his skateboard. License their software. It will go so much smoother for you when everybody knows you will be riding on the absolute best. Again, folks, understand this is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. I am my own. I do my own DD and I suggest you do the same. Now, something to hang on to. We never give up and we never give in, but we will always keep an open mind because knowledge is our power and we are not giving up that power for anything. Do your research, do your due diligence, do not leave yourself short. Folks, remember, this is Reality Speak. This is True Talk. And I'd like to tell you this, stay safe, stay healthy, and beyond all, stay as happy as humanly possible.